Hey, we gonna, there we are. We are live. So, <coughs> today Out of the Park Baseball 18 came out. And um, earlier, I believe it was T.J. Lottman was streaming it for uh, some, some time. And um, I had streamed the Gold Master the other day, but now, <coughs> excuse me, tonight I'm going to stream. What I want to do tonight is set up what I call, as you see in the title, a No Color Barrier MLB from 1936 is what I'm going to do. Now, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. Um, it's, you have to kind of hunt around for the option. So, um, why don't we start? So this way you can all see. That's why I brought us right back to the main screen. As you can see, <coughs> excuse me, it's similar to past years where you can um, do history, you can load a game, quick start, etc., etc. So now we're going to start a new historical game. And yes, we like challenge mode. Okay. Import real minor league as we want that. We're doing 1936. Now this is important. This is important. Show advanced options. And as we go through this, eventually we will find the option to turn off the uh, racism. And my goal in this, I am determined to buy Josh Gibson. Uh, he is going to be my catcher in me. <coughs> when I experiment, <coughs> excuse me, really coughing. Hard. When I experimented with this earlier, um, you couldn't buy him immediately. I said, they said I had no cash. I had money, but no cash. So, <coughs> excuse me. My guess is the way this is going to work is you have to have cash from the game. You have to have played a game or two to get cash. And uh, he's not very expensive. So my guess is I should be able to get him in a giant uniform. And uh, see who else is out there at that time. Now this is interesting. You have to... <coughs> You have to import the minor leagues. If you don't import the minor leagues, it's not going to work because the Negro leagues were us, us treated as minor leagues for the purposes of, let's see, um, I think, should I have a go back league? Not starting yet. Um, here are all the included leagues. Let's make sure we got the Negro League, the National Negro, Negro National League, and I think there's a Negro American League somewhere in here. Um, do I see it? Uh, NEL. Okay, so we want to add that. Add new league. Uh, let's see if this is what I want. Uh, not if I'm doing this right. Um, let's see if I'm getting everything I should. Let's see. Oh, hello. I have three viewers tonight. Hello, viewers. Um, 
So, we are importing. I don't know if this was the right thing, but the key is I have to go through the options, the advanced options, before I start the game to turn off the color barrier. That is my, uh, my, my big, that's the important thing before we start this league. And, um, I started it with the New York Giants because I'm a Mets fan and they were kind of, kind of the predecessor. All right, so we, we do have the NEL. Uh... We got Major League Baseball, all the, all the, uh, let's see, teams, rules, here we go. So, when you start a game under it, the advanced settings, they're important advanced settings, rules, and we just turn it off, and... There is no more color barrier, and we can have, um, we can have the players we want now. The best we can now have all the good players, um, including Josh Gibson, can be our catcher, which is one of my goals here. Um, so I think we're ready. Let's check. Um. Allow me now. Let's schedule spring training players. Okay, <coughs> I think we're good. So let's start the game. And I have my now. I'm going to pick the New York Giants. Dave Cash is not going to like me because I'm planning on replacing him. Um, purging players. I don't know what that's all about, but as you can see, it's generating everything. This should be right, I hope. We got rid of the, uh, um, Let's see. Uh, oh, ah, uh, it crashed. All uh, right. Well, we may have to start this over. So let me bring it back up. Gotta move some things around here. Well, that kind of that's no good. All right. Now let's see. There we go. Now, why am I not seeing it? Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Behind me. So, let's try this again. Yes, enable challenge mode. Um, show advanced options. Import real minor leagues. Uh... Next step, loading minor league database, uh, porting players, now I even managed to figure out, we're gonna, uh, I even managed to figure out how to change the, uh, streaming software so I can actually stream the game in 3D because it's it's almost like it's a separate application so what ends up happening is you when you try if you just have the game you pick up normally initially and then you try to stream it um when the game starts in 3D you're going to see just see the screen from pre-game when I went in Created a second screen capture for an actual game. I'm thinking that that worked when I was testing it, and I'm thinking that'll work once uh, 
Okay, advanced mode. So let's go to rules here. Let's turn this off. And we have our Negro National League. Uh, color barrier is off. So we will now have access to all the great players. And let's see what else we need to do before if we should do anything else. Uh, no. Uh, we want to start. The league. Create game. Game settings. Let me see. What am I missing here? Where is my teams? Um, create game. Uh, okay. Going through all this, and why is it? Let's see. I may have some game settings. I have to do some next. Okay. League. Um. Options. Where am I? Why is it not letting me? Oh, ah, here, here we go. Start game. So let's try this again. Hopefully the game will work properly. Load everything properly. And didn't have to purge anything, so that might help. Um, so now it's doing the parent-child league stuff. Takes a, maybe two or three minutes to create the league. But the main thing I did want to show you is, again, you go, have to go into advanced options and into rules to turn off the color barrier. So once we get this started, I will show you um, how you can buy Josh Gibson once you have cash. Because I think I start with no cash. Um, I have money. I have a budget. But cash is zero. There we go. You've received a personal message. From the Giants owner. Okay. So let's look at this. Um, MLB. Off-season center. Uh, find the player. So what we want to do is click on hitters, and we want catchers, who are four star, who are four star, and we're gonna we say include all, include minor leagues, search all leagues, search all leagues, and there we are, Josh Gibson. Now here's the problem. I'm gonna try to buy him. And I say purchase player for sixty two hundred. Ah, I purchased. Okay, I now have Josh Gibson from the start. Yay. Okay. So now I can go back to the New York Giants. Uh rosters in transitions and transactions rather. Um there we go. So we're going to go and available action. Promote to New York. That's what we want. Now he is on my roster. Notice four star. Uh, contact 60 power. Um, 50, home run power, discipline, uh, let's look at his defensive abilities, okay, he could also play first base and third base, probably better at first base, but I have him, um, and, uh, we have, now have one of the best catches to ever play the game. So I am very happy. So let's go back to our 
um, lineups and depth chart and sort by position. So we have now uh, we are going to substitute Josh Gibson in as our catcher. And I'm going to put as, so we do that against, now in this game you have to do everything for your, um, you know, you have four different lineups here. So I'm going to set that. And where is my catchers? And now what I need to do is make him my first starter, my uh, backup. And we'll do the same thing here. Well, we'll do the same thing here. And... We're going to go and this is how you set your lineups. And you have to do all four. So if you change a player, which we did. Um, and we're going to look at some other things. Where's my... But this was kind of my... First order of business. All right. Now, that thing I want to do is save the game. Very important because, as we saw, sometimes the game crashes. So, um, here we are. We are, we have our lineups. Let's just look quickly, before we get into a game, let's look quickly at our finances you can see we have pretty good finances. We have a, um, we have expenditure, you know, here's our budget stuff, payroll, total expenses, cash. This is how I was able to do it. In the beta, in the gold master, they did not give me any cash. So I have all, you know, I've, I've paid a lot of cash, but I'm not, you know, the New York Giants, when back in those days, when they were uh, in New York in the polo grounds in the 30s and the 40s, they did not have money issues. They were, you can see, they had a large market. Very loyal fans. I mean, they fans were very loyal. The Dodger fans, of course, were extremely loyal. And New York baseball was something else. I mean, it still is. Mets fans, I'm a Mets fan. I'm, Mets fans are very loyal. Yankees fans are very loyal. Um, we take the game very seriously. But uh, now that we have our roster, what I'm going to do, let's look at Meet the Team. So we have Mel Ott. He was one of the greats. Um... Paul Hubble, one of the great pitchers of all times as well, and uh, Schumacher, uh, not as familiar with him. Notice how they did not make a whole lot of money back then. Um, here's our position overview. Now they say Josh Gibson is sixth, but we will see. Now, career team leads, of course, Christy Matheson, who was one of the greats. Now, you can see we do need a pitching coach. So, that is a pro let's Let's be go back to the manager's office. This is how you see what you're supposed to do. Um, so, we do not have a pitching coach, and that is very important. So, why don't we look for a pitching coach. 
um, preferred occupation, kitchen coach, sort on reputation. So we want decent, um, hmm, let's see, I'll go with this guy. And available options, offer him a contract. Okay, so let's go. Now you could finish today. I'm trying to get my pitching coach. And... Uh, cool, okay. Let's keep going until we get our pitching coach here. Is it actually finishing today? Today's... There we go. You received a message. So now we have our pitching coach. We have our roster. Um, we have a trade proposal from Cleveland. Um, yeah. Now this is an interesting situation here with Jeremy Ripple. They want our right, bat, right fielder. If you look at our roster, let's go back to our roster. Um, let's see. Overview. Do we want... This might be a bit of... Uh, graphical depth chart. So, we have this right fielder, Ripple. He is... He... If you look at him, let's... See if we can, uh, let's make, let's sort this by position so we can find them. So as you can see, we have Melot as our star. We've got this Jimmy Ripple who has a, who's not bad, not bad. Um, but he is not a great fielder. He's kind of limited to right field, not that good in center. He's he's okay. I mean, he can hit for contact. He has some power. He's relatively young. So he could certainly be good for a team that needs a right fielder. So we're going to think about this trade and what else we can ask. Um, so they, they want to give us a veteran second baseman and a right-handed baseman. So we'll have to take a look at that. But I think what you all probably want to see is a game. So let's play today's game against Cincinnati. And you can see here's our uh, lineup and their lineup. And our pitcher, of course, is called Hubble. There's his part of the um, Derringer, it's opening day, the best pitchers. Uh, we're going to start the game. Now, you, let me... Huh, are you seeing that? Because we are in 3D. And... You should be seeing this. Yes, you are. Okay. It's working. Let the game begin. This is... Oh, it's a spring training game. Okay. I thought it was opening day. So... The first one is... Uh... Let's see. We got man on first... And so what I like to do in that case is go to double play depth. See if we can get the double play. And, and one out. So Kiki Cuellar, that is their center fielder. Let's see what we got going on here. And yeah. great throw by Liebner. Oops. 
So our third baseman is okay. And now Ernie Lombardi, who is their catcher, who was an excellent hitter. And that's the inning. I think I'm in 3D mode. Hmm. Let's, let's check that. I do. 3D view. Okay. Now, if you lose it, we'll just. Um. We are now in 3D view. So let's see how that's gonna work. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make sure. I'm not seeing any update on here. So let me go here. And there we go. There you That's better. Okay. So now Dick Bartell is up. And you can see the little end. It looks better than last year. Last year they looked like little game pieces. But they've improved that a little bit in the 3D mode. Of course, we are, I believe, in spring training. So we're not quite at the polo grounds. Now our slugger Mel Ott is up with two out. Looks like I didn't do any face gen. Oh, well. May want to try to see if I can fix that. Um... Hank Liebner. Their face gens are kind of funny. <laughs> because, uh... There we go. And... Melot slides into third. So we got man on first and third. Two out. And... Our left fielder, Jojo Moore, is up. And... Nope. We don't get anything. All right. So, we have Babe Herman up. Oh, now it's Lou Riggs. We got Babe Herman out. And that's a fly ball. They've really improved the animation this year in 3D mode. And, um, is this Myers, Billy Myers. There we go. Okay, he gets a single. We got two out. Top of the second. And that should do it. No. no he just stops him. Okay, two out. Paul Derringer, the pitcher. And then we get him, strike him out. Not a situation you want to be in when you are, uh, when, when you're, um, the, ba the, the batting team. You do not want your pitcher up when you have a good chance to, two out and a good chance to get a run if you get a hit. But, Let's carry on. Josh Gibson gets his first at bat for the team. And it's a ground out. And Sam Lesby Leslie, our first baseman. Uh Travis Jackson. And that looks like the inning. And it is. Yeah, they've really improved the animation. If you can see, you actually see <coughs> the guys look like little tiny ball players and not little tiny uh, pieces, you know, board game pieces. All right, we're at the top of the order for Cincinnati. And we get... Right field, a good uh, Ivo Goodman. Now the first baseman, Lee Scarcella, and flies out. 
And again, I thank, I'd like to thank you three uh, viewers for being here tonight. Um, Kiki Quayar, the center fielder. And he gets a single. And we got two out. Man on first and Erwin Lombardi. And uh, he's a pretty dangerous hitter. Very high contact. And he makes contact. Okay, man on first and third. Two out. Let's see what Babe, if we can get Babe Herman. Ah, he gets a single. So, okay. Now we get man on first and man on second. Yeah, they got the lead. They got the run in. Man on first and second. Two out. Lou Riggs is up. This is not good. They got him. Erna Lombardi was not a particularly fast player. So... We lead off with pitcher Carl Hubble. He strikes out. Um, Burgess Whitehead, the second baseman, gets a base hit. And Dick Bartell, the shortstop, gets a double. And we've got man on second and third. One out. Mellot is up. That's the guy you want up in this situation. And he's live Liebner, Hank Liebner is up. And that ends in it again. We get no runs. Okay, Billy Myers is up. And we get him. Alex Kemporis is the second baseman. Struck him out. And the pitcher. Now remember, this is back in the in the thirties. We're playing a game from nineteen thirty eight. Back in those days, the they did not have, um, you know, the bullpen was not a thing, really. I mean, they had relief pitches, but it wasn't like now where you have guys who come up to the big leagues specializing in relief pitching. So you tended to keep your starters in longer. Um, JJ, JoJo Moore gets on, and now Josh Gibson for his second at strikes out. Sam Leslie. That's two out, but we have man on second and Travis Jackson, the third baseman. They walk him in order to get to Carl Hubble. Now, being it's only the fourth inning, you kind of don't want to take your a starter like that out um so we're gonna let him bat and that ends the end. we're also kind of in that same situation so we're still behind by one Paul Derringer is still beating Call Hubble one zip and uh Call Hubble is thrown through fewer pitches Evo Goodman at the top of their order and we walk him. Okay. Now, Lee Scarcella. Three. We get him at second. Do not get the double play. And, um, yeah, he was, uh, he wasn't that speedy. Although he knew he can steal a base. Kiki Cuellar. And that should do it. Okay. So we are now mid-game. And um, we got Ernie Lombardi up with 
Wait a second. I thought this was the end. All right. We got two outs. Man on second. Lombardi up. They're going to pitch around him and go after Babe. Try to get Babe Herman. Lefty on lefty. And that's... That was a good bet. And, uh... We got him. Burgess Whitehead. And he slot. Is it a drop man? Yep. We get a single. Now with Dick Bartell up. Our shortstop. He also singles. This is good. We got man first and third. None out. Melot up. Um. Let me see something. He is not particularly fast, so when we're not gonna try a hit and run here. But we get the run. And that's what we got two out, none on. And we tied the game. And we got Hank Liebner up, the center fielder. And that looks like a pop out. Okay. Yeah, I have to say, I really like how they improved the graphics a little bit here. Now, this is not MLB the show graphics, but that's not the point of this game. Um, okay. Riggs is up. And he gets a double. Billy Myers. And he singles. Camporis, the second Camporis, the second baseman, is up. Struck him out to get the first out. Let's go to we want to get that double play. And the pitcher. Oh, that's interesting. They brought in a relief pitcher. And the run scores. But we got two outs now. And triplet. They have triplet ends a pinch hitter. Something's gone. Interesting. Um. A man on first and second. Two out. Gus Dugas. What are they doing? They're going to change every... Oh, it's a spring training game. I forget. I need to do something like that, too. So, spring training, you send in a lot of guys. Sidney Weiss. Okay, I think it's time to... Get someone up in the bullpen because it's his spring training. Uh, let's see. Who do I have for relief pitches? I have three relief pitches. All right, let's. I can't. Yes. Um. Positions all pitchers. Really? Pitching ratings. I have eight pitchers. Something's really kind of weird here. All right. Um. So. I would have thought I have a whole, I'd have a whole bunch of minor league pitchers available. Uh, 
This is not quite right because I'm saying uh, Relifa. I have three relief pitchers in spring training. All right. All right, back to broadcast. Okay, you couldn't see it because, right, I was on the other screen. Yeah, it's a little tricky if you're in 3D because... So I now have someone warming up in the bullpen. And... Sydney Weiss is on with two out. And... We get the third out. <coughs> so we're behind 3-1 in the bottom of the sixth. I'm hoping we can put in a pinch hitter. Jojo Moore. One out. And... I need Josh Gibson to get a hit right here. And he does. Now, look, Sam Leslie is up. Struck him out. Okay. We got Travis Jackson. Um, let me see something. Uh, now you're not going to see this because the different screen. We got, I'm going to bring in Joe Martin as, uh, Return to game. Joe Joe Martin is gonna pinch hit. Yes. And go back to the game. Now we have Joe Martin up. A little bit better. Let's see if he can do anything. He's gonna. Nope. Nothing. All right. I was hoping to, but I'm going to bring in, get in, bring in, yes, okay, we have a new pitcher, um, third base, there we go, okay, Ernie Lombardi's up. Gets a single and gets a double. Slides in with a double. Hub Walker. Coming in as a pinch hitter. Still, okay. We need to get that double play. Uh, okay, we are at the top of the seventh, and we are behind 3-1. Got one out. Man on first and third. Joe Doyer is up. Doyer. And he gets a hit. I'm going to start warming up another reliefer. Uh, let's stick him in the bullpen. Again, you only have very few relief pitchers back in these days. Doug Tallett. Let's see. Struck him out. Okay, now we got two outs. And the pitcher is batting. And that's it. We're still behind 4-1, but we got a little 7th inning stretch music. And now I'm going to bring in a relief uh, pinch hitter. Who do I have who is on the bench who can hit? Who has not played as of yet? Uh, let's bring in him to pinch it. Uh, this is our, there we go. There we go. 
And he swings, flies out. Burgess Whitehead. And grounds out. Not looking real great for us tonight, but... Okay. Three up, three down. And we are going to bring in a relief pitcher. So... We got Frank Gabler now in there facing the top of Cincinnati order and there you go Wayne Blackburn center fielder again two down and Sidney Weiss And there we go. Okay. Top of the eighth is done. Bottom of the eighth. Mallott, Liebner, and Moore. So the heart of our order is coming up. And Spies is very careful to Mallott and walks him. How Liebner. That is going to, looks like it's going to be caught. So one out. Man on first. Uh, let me see something about Melot. See? No, not that fast. But, he doesn't need to be. Nope, he did caught it right on the warning track. So we got two out. And now it's all up to Josh Gibson. And he hits a line drive, but it's right to the outfielder. So it looks like he's going to have a one for four day. Okay. And as we go to the top of the ninth, Billy Campbell is up. Walks him. Uh, Hub Walker. Oh, this is not good. Let's go into double play depth so we can at least try to get a double play. Try to get ourselves out of this a little bit. And catch it. Okay, one down. Again, we want double play depth. And perfect. Okay, so we get out of that. And this is our last shot. <laughs> so, Leslie Martin. And then I'm going to bring in a, a uh, pinch hitter for the pitcher. Sam Leslie. That's nice. Nice, nice. Starts off with a single. And he is not very fast. Joe Martin. Now fly out. Alright, now it's time for a pinch hitter. For a pitcher. Who do we have on the bench? Ready to go. Who can hit? Not much. <laughs> this is kind of surprising to me. Alright. Well, let's see. We got a right-hander Frank Gabler. Do we have a left-hander? Left-handed batter on the bench. Uh, da, da, da. No, it don't. does not look like we do. Uh, it looks like all our left-handers are in the lineup. So, we, oh, this is pitching rating, batting ratings, we want to see, that looks a lot better, well, <laughs> not necessarily, um, we want to get contact, so, it looks like, huh, Bill Terry may be our guy. Let's bring him in. He has good contact. He's a left-handed hitter. And while we're at it, we probably need to look at our relief pitchers. 
Alright, we'll put some on it just in case. We put, and Bill Terry is up. We got one out man on first. And he does exactly what I need him to do. So Whitehead is up. Goodbye, baseball. We are right back in it. Right back in it. Goodbye, baseball. We win the game. What a game. What a game. We were behind. I thought, do not think we win. You see, they all have little, little pieces run out and celebrate with the guy. <laughs> kind of cute little animation. Like I said, MLB the show. Graphically, this is not. But that's not what they're trying to do here. Let me switch back. Um, so you can see the post game, hopefully. Should be seeing that in a second. And this is their very interesting post game. We have a little chart. Looks almost like a stock chart if you if you follow the markets at all. And uh, well, they had a breakdown. You see, if you have a little trend line there, going up, up, up to Cincinnati, and then, boom. So, let's look at what happened here. So, we, we had uh, several pitchers, several pinch hitters. Uh, in his first game with us, Josh Gibson went one for four. So we like that. Um, let's see. Dick Bartell, the shortstop, and White and White is it Dick Bartell and Whitehead both did well. Um, Leslie did well. Melot, not what? Oh, he he walked twice, so he didn't get any hits. They were, they were not into pitching to him. So, now we leave the game, and what you want to do there is finish today, and save. So, you get a feel for it. We, we What have we done? We've created a league. We have um, purchased the, the great Josh Gibson. Um, we signed a... A pitching coach. We are now now have this trade proposal for um, from Cleveland, and uh, let's look at our team. Team home screen. Let's see rosters. So, how we only have twenty seven out of. Okay, so they did not bring, put in the minor league players for spring training, which I think is rather interesting. Um, because we can have, we have our 40 man roster and we only have 27 pitch players there. Now I'm wondering if we can do something like this. Put him, let's see, something. Um, we don't want to promote him. Place on secondary. Yes, we want him on the secondary roster. So you can do that. Oh, let's go back. So that gives us 28. But of course, he's still pit playing for the double A team. Surprising we didn't have a triple A team back then. But we have some guys with great potential. 
And maybe because they were double A is why we didn't really bring them up. The spring training. Uh, I may want to do that. Uh, but anyway, so you can see our rosters, our minor leagues. We only have two teams, which is kind of surprising. Uh, double A and single A. And, uh, maybe, you know, back then I thought they had a lot of minor leagues. Maybe they didn't. Maybe that was later on when, um, when they started building up, uh, the minor leagues. Um, so, anyway, uh, we have seen the New York Giants. We have created our league. We have played a game, a spring training game, and won at the last minute. So that was a pretty good game. Um, you can see our team's home. No score yet because this was just spring training. And, you know, we have, uh, you know, a bunch of spring training games we can get through. We have a minor league. As I said, we now can buy, this is a time you can buy a players. We don't have a lot of cash yet. I don't know, now this is something I want to see. Do we get cash every time we play a game? How do we end up with cash? Because I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Because we did, they did finally start us with cash, so I was able to buy a player, be able to buy Josh Gibson, but I don't know. My guess is that after each game, you would end up with more cash because you sell tickets, you sell food or whatever. I and mean, then back then, of course, they didn't sell swag. Um, but revenue per game. That's interesting. Ticket price, season tickets. So this is not, this does not look good. They're projecting our revenue per game to be negative. Well, I hope that's not what's gonna happen. That wouldn't be good if we're losing $12,000 each game and we're only getting eight thousand no it's losing eleven percent so it would be only get earning twelve thousand because we've only sold forty six hundred season tickets as opposed to um well we we're only projecting forty six now that could be if you think about this this was during the depth of the depression which might explain why a team they would have had trouble selling tickets. People didn't have money. <laughs> so, anyway, I think what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna end it here. Uh, I hope you. I th I thank my view the people who came to see to um, see the game and to watch the stream. I thank you for being here. Um. And, um, I will be streaming this game. I will be, I plan to stream MLB The Show 17 when it comes out as well. Um, been thinking of what I'm doing here. What I'm going to do with that. But I think I'm going to continue with this league. And see if I can get our Giants. See how our Giants do. Uh, and, uh, see what the other teams do. We turned off the color barrier. And, uh, like I said, it was a little, yeah, if you go, if you didn't see the stream from the beginning, go back to the beginning of the stream, you'll be able to see how you do that. It's not intuitive. You have to go, when you create the league, you have to go into the advanced mode, I mean, sorry, advanced options, you have to go to rules, and there's a little checkbox, color barrier. It's by default checked on for 19, the 1930s, because unfortunately it existed then. You just simply check it off and you could, you know, 
by your, you know, bring on your great Negro League greats to your heart's content at that point. The other important thing, again, if you want to do that, you must bring in all the minor leagues because they, the, the way they did it, implemented this, they implemented it as a minor league. Not ideal, but that's how they did it. So that's what you have to be aware of. Uh, if you if you like to uh, turn off an historic, uh, sorry, set up a historic non-color barrier league. So I think we're going to end it for tonight. And again, I thank thank you for watching. And um, I will see you all hopefully in the future. So hopefully next time. And uh, if you're interested in um, this game. Uh, I think T.J. Loudman did a whole stream this afternoon. If you're interested in MLB The Show 17, Operation Sports, I'm probably Call Dude, uh, gonna, and some of the other guys who are big on that, stream, big streamers in that, got early copies and are streaming that. All, I know Operation Sports streaming that all weekend. So, again, thank you, uh, especially... The, the, I think there were two of you who stuck throughout the whole thing. And uh, I will see you next time. Take care.